Hey YouTubes, uh, I was thinking about doing some more videos like this where uh, I'm just, you know, working in the background while I talk about whatever issues I want to talk about. It gives me a little more time to address things and it doesn't take weeks to get a video out just for one minute of work, you know, a one minute video. And uh, I guess the flavor of the week is this whole DMCA issue and it seems to be a, a lot of talk surrounding two particular people which I never really thought would be in, included in the same sentence but that is Venom Fang X and, and Minden, Gary. Now my whole view on the Venom Fang X issue and just briefly is When he, when DPR Jones posted that video of his apology and explaining things and, you know, trying to dissociate himself with his old channel, I was at first sort of moved, you know, and felt bad for the guy. But when I thought about it more, especially with the part about, you know, giving him a chance and, you know, letting bygones be bygones and this and that. It sounds very poetic, but at the same time, DPR Jones is only one person Venom Fang X has affected. So that little bargain he had with him only really applies to the parties involved in that conversation. It's There's so many videos that have been removed because of Venom Fang X. You know, I don't know them all, and I'm sure nobody knows them all, but I could just imagine how many videos have disappeared because, you know, Venom Fang X wanted to be a, a little immature child and use a tool that he knew exactly how to use properly and chose not to. Why I say he knows exactly how to use it is because he already went through this a, a year ago. Same situation, same arguments, same defense, and he was forced to make an apology. In that apology, he stated he knew. But yet, a year later, he does it again. Does he have amnesia? Is that his problem? Is that what he's seeking help for? Because really, I don't think you can help. I don't know of any help there is out there for a spoiled, whiny, immature brat that doesn't know how to grow up, you know. But, you know, and as far as you know, taking him serious. I don't know anyone on this internet that have literally taken him serious. People say, you know, the videos about him that he was DMCA and were mean and uh, or mean spirited, and most of them probably were just funny because there's no other way to deal with somebody like Venom Fang X and his views. I mean, you know, what what are you supposed to say to somebody that? Xerox copies Kent Hovind's arguments. I mean, these views have been refuted and debunked many times over by the smartest people, so there's really nothing left to do with it except make fun of them. And I had to pause this in the middle of recording, so I have no idea where I'm at. But uh, I'll just switch over to the whole Gary issue because he seems to have twisted you know the meaning and definition of words to suit his own purpose um, it's it's kinda laughable also because he got suspended by somebody using the system wrongly now he shouldn't have got suspended and you know whoever you know, claim to be him and filed under false pretenses should, you know, get in some type of trouble. I'm sure those accounts will be suspended and closed. 
they'll just reopen a new one later on be you know whatever they were with the number two beside it but at the same time um, Gary's sort of switched modes and turning the blame or or, or, or changing the uh, view and, and turning it into cyber bullying which uh, I get I, I think he's doing that because he knows that he'll garner support if he uses these terms even though they're completely false and have no merit because how many people has Gary run off YouTube through D DMCA's how many people have been silenced because they didn't w even if they knew they were within, in their legal right to post the videos that he DMCA'd knew that he would take them to court even though they would win how many people just didn't counter notice because they didn't want Gary given their personal information and they didn't feel like going through the hassle of going to court f over some video so I think it's funny he's pulling the cyber bully card when he's probably ran more people off the internet than any five other youtubers collectively you could think of I mean you know by his own definition he would be the biggest bully here on YouTube that I know of anyway and you know to, to change definitions to suit your purpose isn't following the law and to file a DMCA with every intent to go to court doesn't make it justifiable doesn't make it a legitimate DMCA by those terms I could file a DMCA against his latest video even though it doesn't say anything about me it doesn't address me as long as I have every intention on going to court even though I know I'll lose I would be justified and file the DMCA you, you see where that's flawed that's that's not you know using the law the way it was intended that is bullying that is you know trying to get somebody's freedom of speech taken away and there's a whole issue of freedom of speech surrounding this DMCA issue and um, I think some of it does have to deal with freedom of speech I think that term's been thrown out a little loosely to you know garner support for you know one view or the other but at the same time when you're using the law to unjustly silence your criticism or even silence a view you don't like or somebody even just making fun of you it, it is sort of you know affecting somebody's freedom of speech because how many times do you have to file a DMCA against somebody before their account is suspended and removed you know so let's say I you know if I posted a video with Gary's image and I was making fun of him and he said you know I don't like you using my image and he DMCA'd me wouldn't that sort of uh, maybe silence me or, or at least stop me from making videos about him because I don't want to lose my account or I don't want to deal with you know going to court even though I would probably win uh, or most definitely win uh, you know to, to compare it to something if somebody took one of my videos which you know most of my videos I believe are you know all my content I actually created them spent you know weeks and hours or whatever making them I probably wouldn't care now let's say they took credit for the video I could ask them to remove it I could file a DMCA now I live in the UK let's say they push the subject and file a counter DMCA Am I filing a false DMCA because I, you know, I live all the way out in the UK. I don't have the money or time or whatever it's going to take to get to the states. Does that make my DMCA less valid? I don't think so. So that whole reasoning, for that reason, I believe, is flawed. And Gary will continue to twist the rules around. And I, I'm just waiting to see what he says next, honestly.